hi everyone welcome back okay let's go ahead and pick up our shout voices and throw them outside and pick up our whisper voices and give them a big hug and pick up our singing voices and take a big old bite out of it like an apple hello there how are you it's so good to see you. We'll sing and be happy. We're all here together again. Ooh. Ooh. So me so. So me so. Remember, on soul, your arm is up like a gate, and on me, your arm is flat down like a table. Good. All right, so really quickly, I want to, really quickly, I want to review our three R's. Remember, they are respectful, responsible, and reasonable. Respectful, it's being nice to each other, being nice to our things responsible means taking care of your stuff taking care of other people's stuff and reasonable it's like being positive or having a good attitude and if you need another refresher on those click through and find the video on the three R's where we sing the three R song all right so if you think back you might remember how we talked about The heartbeat. We talked about the heartbeat of music because music has its very own heartbeat that keeps it going together. And in music, the heartbeat is called the steady beat. It's called the steady beat. And I think some of you might remember the song that we used to sing when we talked about our steady beat, all right? But really quickly, we're going to echo it one more time just in case you need a refresher, okay? And as you do it, I want you to take your hands and I want you to get ready to pat on your lap. Remember, when we're patting, we're patting nice and gentle. We're not whacking our legs real hard. It's not going to hurt. We're going to echo. Little Sally Walter Sitting in a saucer Rise, Sally, rise Wipe away your eyes Turn to the east and turn to the west Turn to the one that you love the best. Good. Great job. And the heartbeat, your heartbeat, it can go fast or slow, but it's always going to say steady, right? Well, the steady beat is the exact same way. Some songs might have a really fast steady beat, and other songs might have a slow steady beat. But what's important is that it's steady. So let's refresh our little Sally Walker again. And this time I want you to sing it with me. So let's get our hands nice and ready to pat. <laughs> and on my count in, all right, I'm going to count in. Ready, go. And then you'll join in with me, all right? Little Sally Walker. One, two. Ready, go. Little Sally Walker sitting in a saucer. Rise, Sally, rise. Wipe away your eyes. Turn to the east and turn to the west. Turn to the one that you love the best. Great job. 
So we are going to learn today a way, <clears throat> excuse me, a way that we can write out Little Sally Walker. We're going to write down how it sounds. And we are going to use some symbols together. And this first one right here, it's, a, it's one big heart. And see if I know what I might use that heart to stand for? Yeah, we're going to use that for the steady beat or the heart of music. So there's going to be one of those big heart symbols for each steady beat. So let's see, how many, how many steady beats are there when we do Little Sally Walker? I'm going to sing and pat, and I want you to count along with me, okay? One, two, ready, go. Little Sally Walker. How many were there? Yeah, there were four. There were four steady beats there. Good. But if you think about it, there's more than four sounds there, right? So if we do Little Sally Walker. That's six sounds in four steady beats. So if we want to figure out a way that we can write down all those sounds, what do you think we might use? Yeah, I'm going to use these two little hearts because together these two little hearts equal one big heart. These two little hearts are for when there's two sounds in one steady beat. This big heart is for when there's one sound in one steady beat. So let's see. Little. That was one steady beat and there were two sounds there. So we're going to move these two hearts over for little. Let's see. We'll see if Sally's the same way. Little Sally. That's two sounds and that was one beat, right? So let's do these two hearts. And Walker. There were two steady beats there. So we gotta pull over these two steady beats. And if I wanted you to count this for me, when you see these two little hearts right here, we're going to call them tiny. We're going to say tiny. I want to ask you to count it. If you see one of these, I want you to say tiny. If you see one of these big hearts, I want you to say heart. So if I asked you to read that left to right, you would say tiny, tiny heart, heart. Try that with me. Tiny, tiny heart, heart. Now let's say it with the words. Little Sally Walker. Did you notice how the tinies and the hearts lined up exactly with what the words we were saying were? It's really important that they do that because if they don't line up right, then you might have written down your hearts a little bit wrong. So you got to make sure they line up just right. So we got the first line of the song down, but We've got a lot more song to go, so let's let's check out this next line. Sitting in a saucer. That was four steady beats, but there's still more more sounds than that. So let's see. In that first steady beat, sitting. It's just one steady beat, but there were how many sounds? Yeah, there were two sounds there. So what do we do when we have two sounds in one steady beat? Good, we got to use these tinies. And then, sitting in a, two sounds, one beat. What do we use? Another tinies. And saucer. Even though it's just one word, saucer, those two sounds are spread out over two steady beats. 
So that's why it's important that we have these two hearts there. So let's read that one for us. That looks a lot like something we might have seen before, right? Remember we're saying tiny and heart. Tiny is when you see the two little hearts, and heart is when you see the one big heart. Tiny, tiny heart, heart. Now let's try it on the words. Sitting in a saucer. Lines up perfectly. Next line. Oh, this one looks a little different now. Let's see. Let's count how many steady beats it is. Rise, Sally, rise. All right, there were four beats there, so we're going to have four total. Let's see. In that first beat, how many, let's see if we got one sound or two sounds. Rise. Just one. So what do we use when there's one sound and one heartbeat? Good job. We use a heart there. And on that next beat, let's see. Sally. Two sounds. Tiny. And then rise. Good. There was one sound in that steady beat. And then what happened at the end? There was a steady beat where we didn't say anything at all. But you still had to think about it. Good, so if we were reading this one left or right. Heart, tiny heart. Rise, Sally, rise. Lines up just right. Wipe away your eyes. Wipe a. Wipe a. That first half of the word away. Both of those happen at the same time. So those two sounds happen in one beat. We're going to use these tinies. Wipe. Wipe a. Now let's check out that second beat. Weigh your. Two sounds in one beat. Eyes. One sound. So if we're reading this left to right, it's tiny, tiny heart. Wipe away your eyes. Turn to the east and Turn's got one sound, one steady beat. To the, two sounds. East, one, and, one. Turn to the east and, for reading it using tinies and hearts, it's heart, tiny heart, heart. This next one, heart, tiny, heart, turn to the west, heart, tiny, heart. Notice how all those sounds line up exactly right. That's how you know that you've written it out right. When all those sounds line up just right. Turn to the one that turns got one sound to the two sounds one one sound that one sound heart tiny heart heart This last line, you love the best. You's got one sound, that's one steady beat, and then love the, there's two sounds in that steady beat, so we use another tiny. And then best, one sound in that one steady beat.
So left to right, that's heart, tiny heart. You love the best. Good. I know that seemed like a lot, and if you just want to keep watching this and practicing this, that, that might really, really help. But I think you did a pretty good job keeping up with me today. And remember, if you ever want to watch any more of these, please feel free to click through and watch these videos and have a good time. And maybe even sing a song or two with someone at home. Maybe sing them Little Sally Walker. If you've got a couple friends or siblings around, you might even remember the game that we played and you can teach it to them. But that's all I've got for today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you all so, so, so much, and I will see you later. Bye.